Hello, welcome to my three minutes presentation. Last week, I was invited to a big party, which I gladly attended to have some break from research work. It didn't turn out to be much of a break though. Here is why. There was a big crowd. The people chattered away with one another in several clusters. The cluster in direct proximity to me was discussing football. Excuse me, I'm not interested one bit in football. So, I edged away in the lookout for another cluster. The next nearest cluster was discussing theater. I joined that one, and during our animated conversation, the waiter served me a glass of orange juice, which I'm not particularly fond of. I passed it to the person next to me, who sat so far and had no direct link to the waiter because of the fixed topology of the tables. After passing on a series of glasses, I glimpsed a piece of cake, my own target, coming my way. It was so delicious and I ate more than I expected. I was starting to feel worn out and was just about to take my leave when someone interrupted to ask me about my PhD research. In the stupor of the party atmosphere, that was my answer. Picture this party as a multitask network. Everyone is an agent connected to the other agents by a graph. Each agent is interested in a certain objective. Multitask networks are those where these objectives are not the same across the network. Now, the agent don't know the objectives of their neighbors beforehand. This implies that the agents have to concurrently carry out their own tasks, cooperate with their neighbors, and modify their clusters without such a priori knowledge. The agent will turn off the confusing links and enhance the more useful ones, thus staffing off the interference caused by different objectives and improving the overall performance for each cluster. The agent learn continuously from the streaming data to adapt their links. In other words, the agent mimic the behavior of us particulars here. As you can see, we are bound by a fixed topology, but that doesn't prevent us from selecting our favorite neighbors and passing some stuff with the remaining neighbors. And in case one of us leaves the party early, the process can adapt and continue on without us. But take note, I will divulge a small tip from my learned experience now. In your next party, try to avoid central locations so as to avoid having to serve everyone else throughout the party. Thanks for watching.